Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Um, you have a farm? Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much, mostly fruit I've found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. <laughs> I figured he'd say something like that. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do stuff. And that's all you need to know. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, uh, so we are back at our uh, planet side base here on the Susalik planet. And uh, so we're going to start off by... Uh, there's something I wanted to show you. I've actually been meaning to show you guys this for a while, but I just kind of keep forgetting. Um, so when I logged off the game last, I made sure we were back here because this is where I want to show it to you. So I, fi uh, I learned about this really cool way to farm um, by another YouTuber who I've watched quite a bit who does No Man's Sky videos. Um, most of his videos are more centered around, you know, making money. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what his name is. So let me look it up here real quick. Okay, yeah, it's, it's Hawks Gaming. Um, and if you guys have been around No Man's Sky for any length of time and have been watching other YouTubers, you probably know who Hawks Gaming is. Um, so, yeah, go check him out. He doesn't, uh, I don't think he does Let's Plays, but he does a lot of tutorial videos and how-to videos. And uh, so I enjoy watching, you know, the stuff that he, he does. I've learned a lot from him. And anyway, um, I learned this little trick from him. Now, basically what you want to do is... You want to uh, make sure, first of all, that uh, you're in a water area. And you want to make sure that you've scanned everything with your analysis visor in the water. Uh, it's important to do that because you want to make sure you get the secondary resource from, uh, from everything that's down here. Um, a lot of the secondary resources of the aquatic uh, plants uh, in particular are... Uh, is, is oxygen. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a massive amount of oxygen and chlorine and salt and cytophosphate by essentially using your ship to mine all the stuff in the water. Uh, so yeah, the first step is to make sure that you have scanned everything in the water um, so that way you're getting those the secondary resources, which again, like I said, in most cases is going to be O2. And I have, you know, I have actually long since scanned everything already in the water. And then make sure you have lots of room in your starship inventory because you're going to be filling this up like crazy. Um, uh oh, we're getting a message from our fleet, which means we got some damaged ships probably. Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, bad news. Ships are damaged. Go ahead and. Uh, recall the frigate. I don't want to take the chance of losing it because you know all of our frigates right now are leveling up anyways So some of them get damaged some of them get damaged. It's just the way it is Okay, so what we're basically gonna do here is we're just gonna fly Over the water and we're gonna go to first person for this and we're just gonna start shooting the crap out of everything in the water And in doing this we're gonna gonna get a metric butt ton of salt, metric butt ton of oxygen, a metric butt ton of um, cytophosphate, and even a little bit of chlorine. And you basically just go around like this and just shoot in the water and shoot all the stuff that's down in the water. And you do this for five minutes and you'll be astounded at how much oxygen and the other stuff that you will accumulate and it is probably the absolute hands down best way to get oxygen in quantity here in no man's sky uh, in the fractal update oh there's a thingy here I don't know if I've actually ever landed here and checked this out or not. Does not look like I have. 
Ancient market hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the core back echoes. Signals forbid all destruction. Signals forbid entity disconnection through violence. Theirs is a way of peace and fulfillment, of logic and probability. They teach us that life, uh, that each life's value from the smallest to that which gives life to others is equal. Uh, yeah, whatever. My knowledge of the Corvax convergence increases. Okay, so... Did I learn a word or did I just get some rep with it? I'm starting... The, the Corvax is starting to get a little bit sus with me because it seems like they're really... seem to be in league with the Sentinels. I don't know. Okay, so... Again, let's just fly around for just a, another minute or two. And then we'll see, you know, what we end up with here. You can't get those big crystals because those require the advanced mining laser. I mean, you're not after the crystals anyways, you're after the plants. Okay, so... Look at this. So we've spent, what, two minutes, maybe, doing this? And we already have one, two, almost three full stacks of O2, almost two full stacks of cytophosphate, over a full stack of salt, which can be turned into chlorine, uh, some kelp sack, and a few other things, too. So as you can see, man, you spend five, ten minutes doing that, and um, you'll get yourself one heck of a large quantity of O2 and the other stuff. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. So let's head on back to the base here. And then we are going to do the next thing, which I'm not even sure exactly what that's going to be yet. <laughs> um, we might go ahead and just keep working on the storyline. I'm thinking. That's what we might do. I'm, I'm itching to get out and, and do some more exploring and keep moving towards the center of the galaxy. Uh, we've spent a lot of time, you know, in this area, this general area, among these few, you know, star systems. And I'm really starting to get the itch to move on here. Uh, but anyway, if we look in here, you can see I already have several stacks of O2 that, um, you know, I farmed up last time. So we're just going to add all of this to here. And again, if I wanted to take the time to convert... Um, all of this salt into chlorine I could but to be honest with you if I can make 77 million by pirating in 30 minutes <laughs> I'm not I'm just not motivated to spend a lot of time uh, you know refining salt into chlorine to sell it for probably less than that uh, in in the same amount of time or probably a lot less than that in the, for the same amount of time you know uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and move all this stuff over here. We got gobs of O2 in here. And then, um, well, oh yeah, we got a mess of carbon too. Look at that. Goodness gracious. And yeah, we are like so out of space, but we do have the overflow. We can put that ferrite dust in there. And then in this bin... Um, yeah, we can put salt. See, look at all these stacks of salt and cytophosphate that I have. Or no, actually, I got the cytophosphate. I have that inside of the plant, plants and food bin, I think it is. That's modules and upgrades. Oh, yeah, plants and food. I'm still working on, yeah, see all this cytophosphate here? I'm still working on the runaway mold too. It takes such a long time to, uh, you know, to do all that stuff, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, so with this extra carbon here, I think what I'm going to do is one of these is just an overflow. Yeah, this is overflow. I'm just going to stick it in here for now. We got so much, so much stuff here. Okay, now, another thing I noticed is that, um, here, let's install this just so we can melt it for the wiring loom in particular, but we get the other stuff too. Uh, but I noticed something, uh, when we went 
we're on the derelict frigate. We got this salvage fleet mining unit, and I, I just saw, you know, Class C, and I figured, ah, oh, it's just a Class C, but what I didn't realize is this is actually a freighter um, upgrade, not a starship upgrade. So because of that, um, we're going to go ahead and actually install it because it, get, well, it only gives us 2%, but hey, 2% is 2%, and since we have the space for it, we might as well use it until, you know, if and when the time comes that we no longer have room for it, and then we'll melt it down for parts. So that was kind of cool because, again, I, I didn't realize that that's actually what that was. Okay. Alrighty, so let's put parts. Where's parts? I think this is parts, isn't it? Crafty, rather. Okay, we'll put this in here. We're sitting on 22 wiring looms right there. We've got a lot of money sitting in here. And then the chromatic metal will go in here. And what is this? This is sodium. Hopefully we have enough room to put the sodium in here. Yeah, we, <laughs> we are so... We need, we need more space, man. We need more space. Okay. So, another thing. I logged into the game. I made sure I had a backup of the game first. I logged into the game, jumped into another system, found a freighter, and went and bought the freighter. Or, more specifically... That was cool. Uh, more specifically, I exchanged the freighter with mine. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to see what would happen if you do that for realsies. Because then, because you know, after I figured it out, I then just I just reloaded the game. Um, but what happens is really cool because you can actually transfer your base on your freighter to the new freighter, and it and it comes on the new freighter exactly as you have it set up. Because um, I wasn't sure exactly how that worked. The only thing you have to do is you, you have to, and you have to do this, you know, when you exchange starships as well. You just have to make sure that you have everything out of the starship inventory. Um, and I'm talking about, or I'm sorry, the freighter inventory. I'm talking about this inventory here, and you want to take all these modules off, because you, you will lose this stuff, but you won't lose anything in the chest because these are, you know, the storage, the storage bins that you also have at the base. And you can, it, it asks you, do you want to also transfer your base? And if you say yes, then it transfers the entire base and everything you've set up over there, which is really cool. So um, at some point, I would like to exchange my current freighter for one of the large capital ships. And uh, so when we, you know, the time comes that we come across one of those, uh, we will be able to do that. So I was very happy to figure that out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for us to take off. And I'm feeling motivated to explore and get into some new systems um but also looking into maybe doing the storyline um if we look at the storyline let's go here so uh, we have this first traveler return to space and contact Paul. okay we've already done it. it says learn the glyph sequence for this planet why don't we just go ahead and jump back into that and do that? But we also um, continue to investigate Knowles. Share the burden of our weight with Nada. It also wants us to go back and talk to Nada. So we could do that first, and then we'll jump into the quest. And, yeah, let's just work on the quest for this episode. But um, probably in the next episode, then we're just going to go do some more exploring and uncover some new systems. Okay, so that being said... Um, there's my freighter up there. Why don't we just teleport up to the freighter? Well, actually, hold on a second. Let's not do that. Let's teleport to the system where the quest is at, which is here. Okay. Here we go. All right. Did I... This is a Viking system. Let's uh, take a quick look. Uh, make sure we got the suit upgrade in this system and check the multi-tool and all that. I don't remember if I have done all those things. So we'll do that quick, quickly and then we'll set out and get to working on this quest. Oh, and call them in the Nexus too. Let's take a look at this. That's a very cool looking multi-tool, but unfortunately it's a class C, so I'm not really interested in that. Okay. Um, let's run back here and get the nanites. Uh. 
And let's grab this. Have we talked to you? You look very familiar. And I'm sure there's multiple travelers that have this look. May I add you to my collection? Um, Charles shows me an album of full images, photographs. Oh yeah, sure. You can you can take a picture of me. Absolutely. I didn't know what you meant by add me to your collection. <laughs> Wonderful. If you will still hold, if you will just hold still, I'll take the picture. There, done. Thank you for this, my friend. I'll even give you something in return. These nanites were given to me by the traveler of iteration, some big long number. I hope they aid you on your path. Happy travel. All right, we got some nanites. So, I think we've already checked out this dude's grave, but... No, this is what we gotta do. Okay. This is how we get the, the grave. Nice. Okay, that'll be our, our third glyph. Then, uh, once we checked it out. Okay, is this just gonna be United United Club in the airport again? Oh, this is different, actually. That looks like, um, the body of one of the Sentinel dogs. What's that doing back here? It's kind of sus. Alright, there's something we can loot there. Um, let's make sure we're at full health. I think we are. Yeah, we're at maximum health. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. Okay. Well, not sure what to think about all that, but there you go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, let's make sure we got the suit upgrade from here. I use that's usually the first thing I do when I come to a new system. Yeah, we've already checked it. Okay, we're good. Just double checking. C class hauler. Let's go get the glyph. Well, it looks like the glyph is on the same planet as the, the quest. So, there you go. This is a frozen anomaly planet. We have our... Oh, no. This is this is heat. Okay, hold on. Let's get back in here for a second. It said frozen anomaly, but maybe it doesn't mean frozen as in cold. Frozen as in unmovable, maybe? Okay, now we're good. We scan stuff around here. Yeah, it looks like we have. Or at least some of it, anyway. Alright, where's the grave at? It's right over there. Wait, where's the grave? Oh, did we land right on top of it? I think, <laughs> I think we did land right on top of it. Oh, nuts. All right, well, we're gonna have to... Oh, well, can I get to it from here? Here we go. Much more than Zigit, but whenever we built the Kazit, wiped out city settlements, any sentinels eradicate civilizations responsible for Zigit. Viking in their great sentinel hunt, the Kazit joined them, traced them to their fallen traveler's grave mark is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. I obtained the glyph and the ability to travel. Alright, that is the fourth glyph. So we are one quarter of the way to getting all the glyphs. Very cool. Okay, let's take off and we are now going to get back to the main quest line. Or no, we were going to actually call in the anomaly first, weren't we? Let's do that. Let's go talk to Nada really quick. I really like, well, he just took off. I really like those fighters with the long noses. I think they're cool. Oh, uh, yeah, like this one here. We need to get ourselves one of those. That's a cool looking fighter there, too. Priest Entity Nada. Uh, wait a 
a minute. Didn't this say... Share the burden of Artemis' fate with Nada and space something an anomaly from the quick menu. But he's not... He's not doing anything. Are we... Supposed to go this way? No, not that way. This is that weird room we were in before, right? Where we loaded Artemis's conscious conscience up, consciousness up. Not an entity authorization required. Secondary simulation running. The machine hums, glowing with life and a power that unnerves me. The terminal scrambled its display unreadable broadcast message. I attempt to send a message into the simulation. It doesn't work. I don't know what to expect. How could a whole universe listen? Not listen. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm a little corn fuzzled about this then. Continue to investigate Null. Share the burden of Artemis' fate with Nada in space. Some of the anomaly from the quick menu. Okay, you know what I think it's telling us to do? It is it's saying investigate null, so that's this. So I guess we just continue doing that then. That is my my guess. All right, this is one of those approximate location thingies. So let's look around. We're looking for a monolith. Is that it down there? Yeah, probably. Viking word for will. Word for four. Word for of. And all of them. And we got a milestone. Babblefish learned 150 words. Have we really learned 150 words? My goodness. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Anomaly, 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 anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith is immovable, muted silver. And yet something lurks beneath. It is gray and not yet gray, or yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. Ley uh, line link detected tracing to source. Okay, there's a portal. of something. Okatani something or something or something. Okay, how am I supposed to know what glyphs to use? Empower the glyphs to access portal network. Um, okay, let's hop back in our ship for a second. It's kind of nasty outside right now. Learn the glyph sequence for this planet. How do I do that? Learn charge the glyphs to gain control of the portal and learn the glyph sequence for this world. Any traveler with the correct glyph sequence can create a link with the portal. Um. Okay. But how am I supposed to know? what the sequence is. I'm, con I'm confused. Here, let's do... let's do this. Oh, we must be in a... 
a special star system. We can't haul our freighter here with all of its stuff. Okay, um, if I just start to charge one of these, is it going to tell me it's not the right one? Um, and the other thing, too, is I don't know all these glyphs. I'm, like, really confused. Let's go to Log, or uh, Discoveries. Here we go, Portal Glyphs. Okay, so we know the... Uh, I guess that's a... I don't know, what is that? Jellyfish? Bird... Whatever the hell that is in a dinosaur. Okay, so jellyfish. Technology Bird. Yeah, we have to get some nitrate. This thingy. We're gonna need some dihydrogen or some cobalt and dinosaur. We're gonna need some copper. Okay, um... That's weird. A gigantic floating space skull. Grave of the Ocean King. Wow. That's kind of cool, man. A gift has been bestowed. This is crazy. Look at the teeth on those things. Then it's got this esophagus with more teeth in it. Oh, can we do something with these? No, it doesn't do anything. That's actually really cool. Uh, what did we get? Yeah, we got bones for 106. But it, it's just, I mean, this is one of those things where we don't get anything really significant from it but it's just it's just kind of cool man <laughs> I mean, a floating a floating skull in space that's just who to thunk right all right let's go okay Technology and this one here Technology nope this one here there there we go Okay. Yeah, so it just it must just be giving us the glyphs because we're doing it, the quest. But if I came here randomly to go somewhere, it probably would only let me do the ones I've learned. That is my guess. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Incoming storm. Request this planet's address. Oh, look at that. Okay. So... Surely I don't have to remember that, do I? <laughs> Better take a picture of it. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. There. Okay. I'll take a picture. I think when I leave, that means Apollo can comes to us now? Okay. Relay the portal glyph to Apollo at a hollow terminus. Gotcha. Okay. Scan for a hollow terminus. All the terminus located. Let's get this planet sucks, man. Let's get out of here. Nasty place. Tower host powerful transmitter. Yeah, we already know that. Tune to Apollo. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Um, you have a farm? Yes, I have a farm. What of it? 
It's not much, mostly fruit I found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. <laughs> I figured he'd say something like that. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of the Atlas and the way Nod had warned me not to return to those tunnels. I don't know if the portals are safe. Um, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go forward. With it. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Can we trust this guy? Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called knoll. They warn me to be careful too. Okay. Speak to Noel. Well, there he is. How about that? Two lost souls, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I am here now, and I need your help. The Atlas is not what you think it is. I don't even know what to think about that thing. Something is happening to the universe, something I need your help to figure out. Oh, uh, yeah, why do you need my help? So the Sentinels don't just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. That sounds mean. Have you looked at me? What do you think a sentinel would do if they came across my form? <clears throat> no, it has to be you, traveler. There's an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret. I am sure of it. I know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us, no more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified, it is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering no matter the cost. Okay. If you say so. Looks like I've just been voluntold. Yeah, we've scanned everything. Um, alright, let's see here. So visit Knoll's chosen observatory. Gotcha. You know what? Let's do another hard save here. There we go. Bring news of Apollo to Nada. Where's our... Wait a minute. What happened to the quest thing for the... Did it switch me over? Why did it switch me to that? Um, if this is still here, let's just continue on with this one. Oh yeah, it's just right over here. There we go with the approximate location beeswax again. Hmm, I wonder where the crash freighter could possibly be. Hmm. Um, aren't we supposed to go to an observatory, though? Okay, here, let's do this. Let's go... Yeah, wait a minute. No, that's the, that's just the approximate location marker. Okay. Let's land here and see if our analysis visor zeroes in on the crash freighter. Because he said something about a crash freighter. But then he said go to an observatory, so... It's saying go that way. Deploy marker beacon. Beacon missed terrain. Okay. Oh. Hey, that hurt. All right, you know what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to 
put a marker there just so we know how to get back. And who the hell is attacking this man? This is all sus, man. I'm telling you. way. I think it was pointing this way. That's right back towards the approximate location. So let's just see if we can visually spot this observatory. Well, that's that's not going to help. Son of a beech nut. This planet. I hate this planet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We found it. Okay. Hey, guess what? We can go back here now because we got the Atlas Bass. Looks like the United Lounge at the airport. Wait a minute, I'm not missing anything, am I? Guess not. Where does this go? What the hell is that? That's a glitch. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be there. There we go. Okay. Let's get back to business here. Here we go. Encrypted nav data. We like encrypted nav data. That means star charts. And star charts mean crashed ships and other cool stuff. Noel's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a GEC specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. The Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Korvac still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat, 16 short bursts of data in a loop. I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A crash vessel awaits me on another world. Hmm. So they're talking about Nana and Polo, eh? Maybe? Perhaps? Right a crash site located. Is it the same one we just were at? I'll bet you it is. No, because it said it was on another world. Alright, cool. Okay, well, let's go back to this freighter that we found, because maybe maybe that was just happenstance, and it's not that freighter's not part of the story. But as you know, we have the chance of getting a salvage frigate module or other good things from crashed freighters. So let's go check it out real quick. Log encryption key. It's the first time I've seen that. A fragment of the encryption override sequence for a freighter's emergency log. Huh. 
Yeah, I have never seen that before. I wonder if that's new to the fractal update. Another log encryption. Okay, they have definitely changed the way freighter salvage works. So it seems like they've made this more like um, doing the, you know, the ancient ruins where you have to find the keys and then open the chest. It's kind of, kind of has that kind of vibe to it now. Okay, so now I'm assuming what we do is we come over here. And we do this. Distress beacon power, zero read log. We have crashed. It was much calmer than I thought it would be. Our training work, the crew were composed and cassette. Twelve casualties. They will not be forgotten. Date stamp. We are running out of food. Whenever we attempt to scavenge, whenever we attempt to fight for our survival, the sentinels arrive to prevent us. We need to get off world. We are going to retreat beneath the surface in a way to rescue. I will maintain my own link with the ship. They are dead, cause it. No longer hungry, no longer cause it. What have we done? I don't know, what have you done? Okay, so... What's that noise? Oh, that's this thing. Um... So what am I supposed to do with these? Um, alright. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this stuff. I assumed we would use it to unlock the thing we just read and then we'd get some kind of nifty reward for it, but that does not appear to be the case. And I'm not spotting anything else with my scanner that seems to indicate anything phantasmagorical here. I do not remember seeing this before, though. But, again, like I said, I can't do anything with it. And when I scan over there, nothing happens. Alright, guys. Um, I figured it out. Because um, I, I had to look it up. So, basically, when you have this quest, the first traveler, any crash freighter you go to gives you these log encryption keys because you need them, or we're going to need them uh, to do, well, you have to do this next part of the quest. And if you happen to go to a random crash freighter, which we did because the one we need to go to is off planet, then you get the, the log encryption keys. And until I complete this, that's all I'm going to get them. So it has nothing to do with fractal updating anything. It's, it has to do with the quest that we're on now. Um, so that's what the deal is with that. All right, you guys, we are out of time in this episode. So I'm going to stop the recorder. Uh, well, we're going to end this episode. I'm going to stop the recorder. And then I'm going to start it right back up. And we're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.